Mitchell misses a three, and the rebound to Harrison Ingram, the Stanford transfer for North Carolina. Strong defensive stand for the Tar Heels early. When you go play against North Carolina, you've got to be used to their transition. They run after makes and misses. That time, Guillermo up with a challenge at the rim. Block shot on Cormac. Ryan of the jumper is good for Mason Leggett. Bro, Ryan shooting 29% from three, and you can see early what Jeff Capel was willing to give on the defensive end. He does not want Davis or Baycott getting those looks. There's Leggett around Baycott, a left-hand scorer. One of the tallest teams in college basketball. And one of the best defensive teams in the ACC. You have to mention second in scoring defense. Ingram on for two there. Carolina is 0 for 6. Ingram guards Henson, the ACC's third leading scorer, and Ingram stuffs his shot out of bounds. This is R.J. Davis determined to get his shot, but Austin with a high-flying rejection, and the pit defense with three blocks. Missing its first nine shots. Pitt has not scored in about three and a half minutes either. Carrington will end that going high off the glass. We'd have quite a story to tell our great We kids, absolutely six would. Zero. <laughs> Davis to pull up three. He got it! Six and a half minutes, and now Katai with a three. Instead, Davis will go in, and Baycott is there. His first shot attempt comes where so many of his do on the offensive glass. Although Pitt is a better offensive rebounding team than North Carolina, a better rebounding team in general in North Carolina, which you rarely hear. Henson again, fifth time's a charm. He's the veteran. He told us today he's the old guy learning from these young guys, and they need him to be a leader. Davis a pull up pop for two, and R.J. Davis has a couple of buckets. Basket for Jalen Lowe makes it 11 to 7 pin. Davis splitting two. Davis got the ball back, got hit, did not get fouled. Ted Valentine says clean block. Made a fourth Pittsburgh block of the game. Diaz Graham with a three. And that's the advantage you have when you have the Twins on the floor. Extending the defense of North Carolina and putting the post players in tough position to get out and defend the three-point line. Washington, a good find. Withers hesitates, elevates, and scores the goal. Off its bench Saturday. I don't know if that ever happened in the Jim Beheim era. There's Trimble weaving in with a left hand. Nice finish by the sophomore from Wisconsin. For the next pick. Game. Okay, we'll do that. But Seth Trimble attacking the paint is able to go against. Guillermo Diaz Graham and able to finish that with the left those battles to this point. Pitt is over for its last seven from the field. Pitt is over for its last eight from the field. But its leading rebounder, Ishmael Leggett, at six foot three listed height. But they still lead by one in this defensive slugfest. Leggett driving around Baycott. No. Baycott with a nice job to alter that shot from behind. But they still lead by one in this defensive slugfest. Leggett driving around Baycott, no. Baycott with a nice job to alter that shot from behind, and North Carolina looking for its first lead once more. To play Baycott man-to-man, one-on-one, -on -one. they will not double-team. When he's on the floor, as Cormac Ryan's able to knock down the two in the corner. It's an 8-0 North Carolina run, and a grad transfer, Cormac Ryan scores his first bucket as Baycott cleans up that shot from Federico. On Friday in their game, as P.J. Hall goes in, Maybe a little ahead of R.J. Davis as ACC Player of the Year right now as Federico gets a bucket against Baycott in the paint. Who is better? Because this Saturday, Carolina goes to Clemson as part of three straight tough road games for UNC. There's a nice finish by Cadeau, and UNC is back on top. Ingram soaring in for the rebound. Ingram, who can do it all, takes the ball down the floor, finds Baycott for the jam. Speaking of doing it all, Ingram with the rebound and making a play as well. Capel will allow him to play Baycott man-to-man, one-on-one. -on -one. They will not double-team when he's on the floor as Cormac Ryan's able to knock down the two in the corner. Henson, he's got R.J. Davis on him. Henson in the lane. Davis hits the deck. Henson hits the bucket. Coach, it's been a battle in the low post thus far throughout this game. And when you think about trying to get the basketball inside, that's the way you do it. You go up top to Seth Trimble, who promised me he was going to have a highlight for me today, and Seth has delivered. Did not score for the first 6-20 of the game as Diaz Graham answers from low. alley -oop after alley -oop. Trimble, Davis, Ingram, Baycott on the floor. It's R.J. Davis. Now it's Trimble. Two to shoot. Trimble a deep one. Buries it at the horn. Rebound is tipped out to Carrington. Three on two for Pitt. Carrington. Got it. 
Great job by Carrington avoiding the contact as Trimble got back and got set. And see free throws. Carlton Carrington avoiding the contact to be able to get 80 seconds in the first half, which has been mostly led by Pitt. Panthers trail by two at home. Low off the glass, leans into tight. Diaz Graham into the young Washington who hits the deck, and Diaz Graham spins and stuffs it in off the glass. That's a great job by Diaz Graham. Davis back for Cadeau, three to shoot. Back to Davis, a three at the horn, and he buries it! R.J. Davis, I mean, misses a three, and Harrison Ingram, who just two points in the half, pulls down his seventh rebound. Sets up R.J. Davis. Dude, you don't have to wear me. a helmet when you're playing basketball. Yes, yes, he told you this. I wasn't involved face. in that conversation. I wasn't you got involved there. right around that point, I think. Cadeau with a hard finish for two. It could be three. And Cadeau down right now on two feet as Cadeau gets out in transition, is fouled by Carrington. However, as Diaz Graham comes across to try to block the shot, he goes down on Cadeau when he's down. and because you said no one's missed a free throw yet. Yeah, but did I say that on the air? I think no, I said it, it no, off the air. It doesn't matter. You said it to me. Carl Carrington hits a jumper. It's a few minutes in the first half. Ingram trying to contact. Ingram's miss is cleaned up by Cormac Ryan. Just his second made basket. And this is uncharacteristic for the Panthers. They've been great with their defense, defensive rebounding percentage all season long, but North Carolina is a different challenge, as is his shouty out here getting to work, knocking down the mid-range jumper with the foul. Grimacing on the bench, his fourth foul at the 17-51 mark. And Carolina calls on Trimble once more as the Heels find Baycott for an easy deuce. Eight rebounds, two assists, two blocks for the Stanford transfer Ingram. The lead is six for Carolina, and Lowe cuts it to four with a sweet stroke. Good energy off the bench for Federico. Lowe steps in and scores. Lowe stays so poised. That's where you want Baycott to screen. Davis bodied up by Carrington. Still floats it in with the right hand, and R.J. Davis has 15. Thus far this season. Carrington skies to get that one off the Davis miss. 14 offensive rebounds for UNC. Carrington! Little Bub playing big here on his home floor, although Pitt was only two of 19 from three. As Ryan has space in the foul line extended, and Cormac Ryan, the Notre Dame transfer, up to six points. Here's Diaz Graham to Big Brother! Maybe they can get Davis going here. On the dribble, into Baycott. Baycott missed it. Withers did not. A high-flying jam for the Louisville transfer. Oh, on the last possession, off of the Baycott miss, you'll see Withers come in and hold back for a second. He wanted to go with the right hand, but gave the basketball time to come off the rim, so he got it with the left. He's slow to get back, so Carolina's going to five on four here. Ingram runs the floor, and finally! Hits his first field goal after 11 consecutive misses. In the button-up, the rest of the staff still wearing the pullovers. Big fan of the Blazer. A little class to start 2024. Hinson, yes. His third made field goal, Blake Hinson. Lead back to six here. Ingram has an open three, and Ingram finds his shot. His first three-pointer of the game, and it stretches the lead back to nine. Does not have what would have been the fourth made three for Pitt. A long save out to Baycott. Gets it back from Trimble, and Baycott stuffs it. It leads to offense. It's Trimble to Baycott for the easy finish. That's really what it has been about for Pitt in this game. Three of 26 from beyond the three-point arc. Carrington hits their fourth, and Jeff Capel takes Pittsburgh's third timeout. He has a rebound with a minute to play. Up ahead to R.J. Davis. He will feed Big Cut, and Big Cut will step into a dunk.